guys, it's Kirby. Welcome back to Kirby Tries. Today, I am trying out another viral beauty trend, the rubber mask. Oh yeah, oh, that's backwards. <laughs> The rubber mask is so soothing to watch on Instagram because the person's usually laying down and then the esthetician is smearing this rubber goo all over their face like they're frosting a cake and it is seriously mesmerizing. I am obsessed with it. I actually had a rubber mask put on me by somebody else, my esthetician, Renee Rouleau. Love you, Renee. And everyone was like, what is this stuff on your face? and I loved it. So basically this is just supposed to brighten your skin. It's not supposed to uh, detox really. I mean, it says detoxifying seaweed, but it's not like it's pulling anything out of your pores. It's not like a pore strip or a peel off mask. But I've never done it on myself, <laughs> which I feel like is half the battle. So we're gonna see, rubber masks, worth it or not? Let's do it. Okay, so this rubberizing mask is from Bliss, Bliss Spas. I, I remember my first Bliss product. It was the Oxygen Facial that now is going crazy online again for some reason, which is kind of crazy. The one that bubbles up, it's pretty cool. Okay, so <laughs> this is really cute. So you have this little guy right here, perfect. It comes in a little pod, looks like yogurt. Because I feel like this might dry quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lovely Glossier hair holder, which is dirty and has foundation all over it. Who knows that struggle? Oh yes, oh yes. Well, I'm looking sexy as hell. Okay, here is the container. This is the little fill line right here. All right, so we have our little mask. Look how cute it is. Pull it open. So it starts off in a powder form, which I personally like. I love all of the masks that I've been seeing lately that come in powder form. You just add liquid, uh, whether it's like coconut water or Water. This is cold. It just smells like chalk. Okay, so I'm gonna pour it right here. Okay, so you're supposed to mix for three to 45 seconds. I am just gonna make sure that everything is completely wet because I can still see some dry. This spatula is too small. I'm gonna say that for sure. I feel like I'm gonna use this baby spoon. <laughs> in a second. Okay, so it's all mixed. There's no powder left. It's definitely like getting rubberized, that's for sure. I feel like it's more pudding. It's not as runny as yogurt is. I mean, unless you have that, what, Faye, like really thick crap that's like super thick and makes me wanna gag just thinking about it. I am not a fan of pudding or yogurt, people. Just saying. I don't have any makeup. Um, this is me and all my melasma glory. I have a breakout happening in this general vicinity. I have a breakout here. This is me. And if you guys, I know what you guys are gonna say, but you have on mascara and your brows are done. I'm microbladed and I have on fake eyelashes. Cool? All right. Let's rubber, <laughs> rubber me up. Give me your rubber. <laughs> it doesn't smell that great, I'm gonna get real. Like, I think they tried to make it minty, but it does not smell even remotely minty. This is not going to be as gratifying as seeing it spread on by somebody else, but. Okay, it feels really good. I'll start by saying that. It's so, it's cooling, so it feels so nice. And you're supposed to do thick layers because you want this to kind of come off all in one fell swoop when it dries. This is starting to remind me of Miss Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire. You know that part where Robin Williams sticks his face in the cake? Have you not seen that movie? Yeah, maybe. Oh my God, it's the best part. And then he like meets with the social worker or whatever. And she's like in the kitchen and he like drops the whipped cream in her coffee or tea or whatever it is. She's like, would you like one dollar for two? <laughs> this feels so good, y'all. I feel like this is perfect for a hot summer day. Okay, the chin is a little harder. Okay, we have to act fast, actually. So this is the other thing. It gets rather clumpy if it sits in here too long. So you really have to... Oh, wow. See? I feel like that's not gonna work. 
I do have another one. You better work quick to get this on your face because obviously it's gonna become rubber and then it's not gonna stick. Okay, so I'm whipping up the second one. And let me just say, if you work quickly, you will not need to, um, you will definitely not need to use two, that's for sure. Try to avoid your eyebrows at all costs. I feel like when you're laying down, it's obviously way better. It's hard to get the tip of the nose. You're just like hoping for the best. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. I can tell this is ready to come off. It's lifting around my mouth because I've been talking. Um, it's lifting around my nose, especially where it's more thick, um, where it's thicker rather. So it kind of looks like slime. Like the way that it fell on my forehead is kind of slimy. So uh, I'm just gonna peel it off and see how it goes. Ooh. Oh, that's really weird. Okay. I'm trying to get it all off, like together. Come on, little guy. Sticking to my baby hairs. I'm melting! This is honestly terrifying. <laughs> that's my face. That's my face, people. If you look, wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> just broke. I feel like I see little spots, but I don't think that's anything from my pores, is it? That's so weird if it is, but like, okay, here is the inside. I don't know if you guys can see, but it kind of has like lines from my skin. I see some stuff from my nose that came out, but it's not like a pore strip. I don't know, man. I'm really freaked out by this. A little dot. Uh -huh. So it's kind of like orangey brown. <laughs> I love that I'm talking with this still on. Um, I think personally that that is vitamin C. When vitamin C oxidizes, it turns like this brownish orange color. Um, so I feel like that's what that is. That's not like my actual pore. But I do see residue from my pores, which kind of excites me to be honest, because I love that. I love like, the detoxifying factor, but who knows. Okay guys, so here is my verdict on the rubber mask. I love that it goes on like frosting. It was very cooling, it was very refreshing. I kind of like that it just evened out my skin tone because it took off some of my spray tan. <laughs> So it like even that out to be determined it might have detoxed my pores by like pulling stuff out of them Which is great the light color of the mask doesn't do much to like show anything really coming out But I feel like I did see some stuff like sebum or something that said I don't really think my skin looks that different I don't know. I mean, I also have like lovely lighting here at pop sugar So I can't complain but when I was looking in the mirror, I don't feel like it necessarily changed my skin in any way. I don't know, maybe it did brighten it up a little bit. I'm not sure. So when it comes down to it, here's what I'll say. It is less messy than your typical clay mask or one that you would have to wash off. I kind of hate when I put on a mask and then I go to wash it off because there's always remnants left over. It's always a bunch of scrubbing. It kind of gets everywhere. It's always down my neck and all over my arms and hands. Um, with this, you just peel it off and then wipe away any residual residue that's left over. So I appreciate that. Um, and my skin does not feel dry. It feels very hydrated. Um, I don't feel like I need to put on moisturizer, but I could. Um, and it's just fun. So I'm gonna give this two out of four Kirby's. If you're going to an esthetician at a spa or someone that you trust with your skin and they put a rubber mask on you, I feel like it's gonna be higher grade in terms of the efficacy of the ingredients. So, like that word, efficacy. So um, I feel like it would be very beneficial to do like in addition to like a facial where you get extractions and have like an oxygen situation happening um, and exfoliation. This, if you're gonna invest in something and you hope it's gonna change your skin, I just don't think that this is gonna change your skin after one use. I don't think it's gonna change it after several uses either. I think it's like a fun thing to do and it's great if you just wanna feel refreshed, but if you are looking to handle something like 
you know, dark spots or you really do need to detox your skin and, and purge it and clear it out, um, I don't think that this is the product for you. So that being said, two out of four Kirby's. <laughs> Yeah, that's the rating system here, people. That's how I rate. It's me, so that's that's how we're rating it. So guys, let me know. Have you tried a rubber mask? Have you tried one at home? Have you tried one at the spa or the salon? Let me know in the comment section. Like I said, I had one done by my esthetician. I freaking loved it. I thought it was great. It was very soothing. I fell asleep. It came off easily. And I felt like in conjunction with everything else, it made my skin look great. Um, but for this, you know what? It's a fun thing. If you have some extra money laying around and you want to invest in it, go for it. But I don't think it's absolutely necessary. So let me know what you guys want me to try on upcoming episodes of Kirby Tries. I'm always taking your suggestions. I tried body contouring before and you guys really enjoyed that. So um, any type of tool, any type of product or face mask that you want to see, is it worth it? Should I actually invest in this? let me know. Even stuff like microblading. I got microbladed last year for you guys. So if you have any treatments that you want me to try, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Kirby Johnson and come to my Facebook, Kirby Johnson TV. I link everything in the copy below. See you next time.